The zone is very true. It does exist. Some players just have a knack to get in there. It's something that you can't mistake for anything else. You can't mistake it for just having a good day. His mind is just clicking, and you can tell the zone because a guy can do no wrong. Unless you've experienced it, you, I'm getting chills just thinking about it. Unless you've experienced it in some form or fashion in your life, you really can't relate to it. It is a spiritual zone. You get there at the same time, physically, mentally, and spiritually. And it doesn't matter what anybody else does around you, you're at peace. There was a seven game stretch in 1984 where, where I was in the zone. My routes, I don't remember running. I just remember getting there. Everybody else around me is a blur. And here comes the ball. And it could be two inches off the ground, I was going to catch it. It could be four feet over my head, I was going to find a way to go for it and get it. When that ball's coming towards you, that ball slows down. You can read the label. And you can see yourself making that catch. The zone is a mystical and enchanted place. And the portal is hard to find. Offensive stars discover it most often but defenders can be transported there too. When you get an uh, interception or something like that, you can just see the ball coming. And you can kind of put in your head beforehand how you're going to pick it or what you're going to do after. When it comes to hits, sometimes you get big hit after big hit. It just seems like the running back is stepping in mud, you know, once you get in that zone. No one has found a way to stay in the zone. Only a few have divined how to get there. Well, I think that in the zone uh, scenario uh, evolves around uh, the way you've practiced, the way you've studied the game, the way you actually execute your practice will make you get to that zone. I played with Bruce Smith for quite a few years and Thurman Thomas and they were just born in the zone. Bruce Smith and Thurman, those guys wake up, roll out of bed and hit their heads on the coffee table and they're in the zone. And then there is Hall of Famer Paul Horning, who never even got to bed and still found the zone. I was out all night because I didn't think I was going to play. I think I got back at 6 o'clock in the morning. Coach walks by and he says, come here, I want to talk to you. And I said, yes, sir. And so I went up and he said, uh, you know, this game, this game is it, Western Division. He said, how do you feel? And I said, uh, good, I feel good, why? He said, well, I'm going to start you today. I got five touchdowns that day. And it was one of the best days I've ever had. You know, when you have a day like that, you, you wonder how the press is going to handle having scored five touchdowns. So I figured, well, I'm going to be in the headlines today. I pick up the newspaper the next day, and it says, Sayers scores six. <laughs> the Kansas Comet streaked his way across the mud and deep into the zone all game long. But for others touched by the magic wand, the spell is temporary, lasting for just one single mesmerizing play. The Denver game, uh, maybe. That move maybe probably could have been considered the zone. 31-14 Denver. Out of the shotgun. Green reached the blitz, finds Hall right side. Trying to put a juke move on O'Neal. Does. Goes right oh, left yes. and now gets rid of all of the Broncos. I shocked myself. I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, I practiced that move all day. I would be lying if I said that. I got a copy of the tape. Look at that play and, you know, I just, I don't know how I saw a guy behind me that just instincts told me to jump back. See, like I just see every cut. You know, it was just perfect. You know, it's, it's beautiful when you, when you do get in that zone. A great runner can amaze, but when a quarterback's in the zone, he can take over the game. Kerry Collins in our championship game against Minnesota, he was in his zone. He didn't miss anything. I mean, every time a guy got a little crack, he put it right on him. I, I don't know if a guy that could have probably could have played closer to a perfect game. Now what a perfect ball pass by Collins. He just got hot from the beginning and just stayed that way. It's euphoric. You just, you say, I can do anything today. Oh, what a play by Collins. He's having a 
superb game. I know it's hard to say that, that you feel like you're playing ball in the backyard with your friends, but, you know, being a playoff game and the, you know, the type of atmosphere that it, it was, but I was feeling it pretty good that day. I really was. It was, uh, the ball was coming off my hand well, you know. It was fun just to, you know, you're not thinking about anything. If that's the zone, it felt pretty good. Unless, of course, it's someone else who's in that zone. Peyton Manning, when they came to the vet, he was in the zone. Out there, you know, doing all these checks and calling plays and stuff, man. And I mean, he kicked our ass all up and down the field. And I mean, man, he looked like Dan Marino. That's what the zone is. Peyton's really playing at a high level today. We're in Dallas and we're beating them pretty good. Aikman came out in the second half, got into the zone. And started throwing bullets. Balls are dropping in on guys' hands. You know, that guy was in a zone. Seen a lot of guys get into a zone, but that zone was really zoned in that day. You know, it, it's one of those things. Everything's got, the moon's got to be aligned, <laughs> you know. It's got to be a high tide. You got to find a place where you're really comfortable. It's a hard place to get. When you get there, it's a beautiful thing.